Welcome back to Blar. We have a Power A wired Xbox One controller. You can use a PC as well. This one's purple. Got on sale on Amazon for $19. These usually are a little bit more, from like $22 to $30, depending on like what color scheme you want. And you have quite a few. Uh, 19 is the cheapest I've seen these, so I grabbed one. I have three others. They've been working great. Uh, I've had many Xbox One wireless controllers. They all went bad. I think I think all of them went bad. Uh, you got like a bad drift problem with like the left analog stick. I think the game's kind of unplayable. Or just went bad totally. So this one here, hardwired, no batteries to deal with or charging. Has a long cable that comes with it. It plugs right into a USB port. Uh, there's no software to set up. It's plug and play. It has a 3.5 millimeter headset jack in the middle there right under your volume control, which is that like uh, gray button you see there. It goes left and right for minus or plus for your volume. Uh, it's dual rumble motors. Uh, that's the headset dial I was just talking about. Uh, the share button is that middle button there. So you have your start and back and then that middle button is a share button, which I don't really use. So it says anti-friction rings for a smooth motion, motion stuff like that. Um, Supposedly has improved grip. You do feel good. These controllers feel good. There's the instruction manual, which don't really need. Like I said, it's plug and play. Has a good feel to it. I like these a lot. These Power A's are pretty good. I've got a, like another $19 PC controller before. This looks like an Xbox One controller. And they've lasted maybe six months before they just break. So these have lasted quite a while. So, so far, so good. That's about it. They're pretty nice. It's nice not dealing with a charge or batteries, I mean. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.